So why is customer 360 so important for B2B technology companies? I guess really there's two reasons. One, most companies need to grow and want to grow. Growing on new customer acquisition is becoming a lot harder, which means that we need to look to growth from existing customers. The tools and the processes that you would market an existing customer with are entirely different than, than a new customer. The whole lead to opportunity kind of motion doesn't really make sense if you're you're trying to grow a customer. You need to take more of an account-centric approach. And that's where customer 360 comes into play. You really do want an integrated look at that customer, everything going on with that customer. When was the last time a contact was hit? With email communication, now found sequence. So what is it I'm going to pitch them on? Depends entirely on what use cases they have today and what their experience has been today. When you have a standalone marketing automation platform relying on a lead to opportunity conversion process that is very much based on a kind of a forms-based inbound process, doesn't at all work with existing customer and marketing to existing customers. Really B2B technology companies need to think more account-centric in their approach and their strategy. And that is definitely more obvious with marketing to existing customers versus new customers. The other reason why customer 360 is so important today is it retention. Let's call it net retention, which that upsell, cross-sell thing we just talked about. But just gross retention, just keeping the customer with you becomes that much more critical. So with your customer acquisition costs being so much higher than, and in general, more competition in every segment, holding on to that customer is really critical. If you're empowering a CS or an account management team, they really need to see a complete view of that customer. They need to see all the communication that has occurred between all the contacts of the customer and all the employees in your company all from a single pane of, uh, pane of glass, right? So all from one view. They also need to see what does that customer own? When's a renewal coming up? How many units do they have? What do they pay for it? All that kind of information is critical. You can't really launch an upsell, cross-sell conversation unless you actually know what that customer is actually running today. Another example is how do they do on the project? Are they live yet? How many times have we gone into an organization where their CRM is the last place you look? to find out if a customer is actually live on the product. In some cases, even producing a customer list can be challenging from the CRM platform. That needs to be fixed, obviously. Everybody needs to know who the customers are and have absolutely full confidence in that information. But it becomes that much more important to understand how they did on that project, when they went live, are they getting value out of the project? Being able to conduct CSAT, NPS, type surveys and capture that information on the customer record and, and buy on that information. How are they doing in support? Are they paying their bills? When's the last time we invoice them? Do they pay us? All that kind of information is absolutely critical before you launch in even a phone call into that customer to find out how things are going. So with the importance of relying on existing customers for growth, but also retention of that revenue, because new customer acquisition is so much more difficult than it was a number of years ago, key reasons why customer 360 becomes all that much more important than, than it has been in the past.